Surprised by Joy by William Wordsworth. Surprised by joy, impatient as the wind, I turn to share the transport. Oh, with whom but thee, long buried in the silent tomb, that spot which no vicissitude can find. Love, faithful love, recalled thee to my mind. But how could I forget thee? Through what power, even for the least division of an hour, have I been so beguiled as to be blind to my most grievous loss? That thought's return was the worst pain that sorrow ever bore, save one, one only, when I stood forlorn, knowing that my heart's best treasure was no more, that neither present time nor years unborn could to my sight that heavenly face restore. Hope is a Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in a soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweet as in a gale is heard, sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I heard in a chillest land and a strangest sea, yet never in tremendy they asked the crumb of me. I hear America singing by Walt Whitman. I hear America singing, the very carols I hear, those of mechanics, each one singing his as it should be, blithe and strong. The carpenter, the carpenter singing his as he measures his plank or beam. The mason singing his as he makes ready for work or leaves off work. The boatman singing his, the boatman singing what belongs to him in his boat the deckhand singing on the steamboat deck, the shoemaker singing as he sits on his bench, the hatter singing as he stands, the, the, the woodcutter's song, the plowboy's on his way in the morning or at noon intermission or at sundown, the delicious singing of the mother or of the young wife at work or of the girl sewing or washing, each singing what belongs to him or her and no one else, the day what belongs to the day, at night, the party of young fellows, robust, friendly, singing with wide open mouths their strong, melodious songs. The Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. I will arise and go now, and go to Innisfree, and a small cabin build there, of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee, and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings, their midnights all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow. Mm -hmm. And evenings full of the linnet's wings, I will arise and go now, and go t for always day and night, hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore whether i stand on the roadway or on the pavements gray i hear it in the deep heart's core annabelle lee by edgar Al allen poe it was many and many a year ago in, in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of annabelle lee and this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child, and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than just love. I am an Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs in heaven coveted her and me. This was the reason why so long ago in this kingdom by the sea, that a wind blew of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So that, so that all her high-born kingsmen came and bore her away from me. They shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels not so happy in heaven when envying me, her and me. As Yes, that was the reason. As all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far 
than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither? Neither the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, could ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. The moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and the stars never rise but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And by all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, there in her sepulcher, there by, the sea. by the sea, there by her tomb, by the sounding sea. Hmm. Unharvested by Robert Frost, a scent of ripeness from over a wall, and come to leave the routine road and look for what had made me stall. There, sure enough, was an apple tree that has that had eased itself of its summer load and of all but its trivial foliage tree. Now breathed as light as a lady's fan. For there had been an apple fall, as complete as the apple had given man, the ground was in circle of solid red. May something go always unharvested, may much stay out of our stay of plan, apples something forgotten left, so smelling their sweetness would be no theft. Anyone lives in a pretty how town by E. E. Cummings. Anyone lived in a pretty how town with up so floating many bells down. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, he sang his din, he danced his din. Women and men, both little and small, cared for anyone, not at all. They sowed their isn't, they reaped their same. Sun, moon, stars, rain. Children guessed, but only a few, and down they forgot, as up they grew. Autumn, winter, spring, summer, that no one loved him more by more. When by now, and tree by, by leaf, she laughed his joy, she cried his grief. Bird by snow, and stir by still, anyone's any was all to her. Someone's married their everyone's, laughed their cryings, and did their dance, sleep, wake, hope, and then. They said their nevers, they slept their dream. Stars, rain, sun, moon, and only the snow can begin to explain how children are apt to forget to remember with up so floating many bells down. One day, anyone died, I guess, and no one stooped to kiss his face. Busy folk buried them side by side, little by little and was by was. All by all, and deep by deep, and more by more, they dream their sleep. No one and anyone, earth by April, wish by spirit, and if by yes. Woman and men, dong and ding, summer, autumn, winter, spring, reaped their sowing, and went their came, sun, moon, stars, rain. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Twas brillig and the slimy toes did gyre and gimble in the way. All mimsy were the borogoves and the moan wraths outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the magsom foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tolgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? 
Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, frabjous day, Calou, Calais, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillig in the slithy toes, did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves and the mome rats outgrave.